grave. It's had to substantially reduce their time at lunch. Whoa! Drop your guard for a second, that's when they'll slip by. Christ, I got it, all right? You! 
Identify yourself. This one's got Dutch's name on him. You know what to do.
Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gone. There you go. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. What the hell? Where's this shine? Oh, no, you don't. Okay, fella. Who we got here? Yeah. That's close enough. Back off. Oh, stop a moment. Hey. Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this ship. Oh, no, you ain't. You ain't getting... You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? 
<clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that?
Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, come on in. Now, let me have a look. Any of these sets would be just perfect for you. And there we go. People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. That's it for now. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hi. Ah. Morning. get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. Well, welcome to our humble police house. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay, well, the price is fair, here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. How's it with 
you. in your horns, friend. Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery.
That's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. How about we head to the veteran's homestead? I ain't interested, feller. All right, no problem. No harm in asking. Yeah. 
son of a bitch. Come on. Well, I got a special treat for you. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. Ain't America, we ain't free no more. <clears throat> Can't raise no animals. Take <clears throat> sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor. I know. gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an, uh, an important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you. To kill you. Humanely. Mm. No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like... Well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit. Everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? No, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It is half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No. If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But no, sir. It was like the electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs>
I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. You're Bring him wonderful. Me. Just, just Come on! Wonderful. Don't be shy now. Let's go. Fuera de mi camino! Move! Oh, lay him over here! Now, where's my money? Um... Money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, one stay by my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Mr. Morgan. Hello, sister. Hey, Calderon. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh. What fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, 
God is people, and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Would anyone like to make a donation? Uh, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Consider your good deed done for the day. I would subject you to Hello there. Please, if you can go a long way. Hey, partner. Hello. You should look out. Been some trouble around here. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a... F What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself. But don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh, hold on. Let me compose myself. I think that it's Greek. That's far too modern for my tastes. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be shown it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> well, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We'll leave hey. it. 
I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right. You all right, boy? Evening. <laughs> 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 